miscommunication between Deontay Johnson and Kenny Pickett played a pivotal role as to why the Pittsburgh Steelers offense could not do anything against the Cleveland Browns in their 13 to 10 loss this weekend. Since the game aired a viral breakdown of a specific play where it was indicated that Deontay Johnson ran the wrong route. Since that play went viral, Deontay Johnson has responded, stating that he, in fact, did run the correct route. This is that play. Let's break it down. Let's look at the all 22 and see who's right, who's wrong. The film don't lie. In Kenny Pickett's post-game press conference, he indicated that he and Deontay Johnson weren't exactly on the same page and that the Cleveland Browns ran zone a lot more than they thought. They were prepared for man coverage. And I think this is a clear example of what Kenny Pickett was talking about Let's start off by talking about what the Cleveland Browns are showing Kenny Pickett. They're going to have press coverage from the defensive backs of the Cleveland Browns across the board and several Cleveland defenders crowding the line of scrimmage. The Cleveland Browns are also showing a single high safety. So all indications right now pre-snap is that it, it appears that either the Cleveland Browns are going to do one or two things. Either they're going to bring the house and run man or they're going to drop back. Let's take a look at the play that was drawn up. The inside slot receiver George Pickens is running a fade from the slot position, but his fade route is going to drag him down towards the numbers. And Deontay Johnson is going to run behind him, crossing his route behind him. And the goal is to have the cornerback trailing Deontay Johnson to either run into George Pickens or the cornerback. And given the route that George Pickens is running, it would catch the attention of the single safety, leaving a huge opening there in the middle of the field for Deontay Johnson to make a huge play. But that is not what the Cleveland Browns are doing. See what, in fact, they did do. Once the ball is snapped, the Cleveland Browns defenders drop back into a zone coverage defense. Now, the best route for a zone defense is the seam route. And in this specific play, you're going to have George Pickens running up the seam and come wide open. Given the pressure that the Cleveland Browns were putting on Kenny Pickett, once he committed to one side of the field, it would have been smart of him to stay on that side of the field and have multiple options. The play is simple. If you read man, you throw it to Deontay. If you read zone, you throw it to George Pickens. Now, what are some of the clues that Kenny Pickett could have picked up that would have told him that this was in fact a zone defense that he was facing. Check out the cornerback at the bottom of the screen, number 23, right as the ball is snapped, he starts to turn outward and fall backward. Now, Kenny Pickett isn't looking that direction. Obviously, he's looking at his center, but the Cleveland Browns defense hold their position, showing cover one man all the way up until the snap. That is very dangerous for the defense to do, as in there are not in a favorable position, and you'll see George Pickens come wide open. But what they're betting on is that Kenny Pickett is not going to be able to come off of his first read, make a second read, throw it accurately and on time. As the ball is snapped, you can see that the cornerback for Cleveland Browns, number 23, his back is facing the sideline. When you have man coverage, the defensive back is facing the wide receiver. You're also going to see that the slot cornerback is peeking back at Kenny Pickett as well. He never turns his body to run up the field with George Pickens. That's another indication that he is also running in zone and prepared to break on a ball if anything comes underneath. Fortunately enough for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Kenny Pickett is not very accurate and he throws the ball way behind Deontay Johnson because had he not, this is probably going for six the other way. And as you can see, let me rewind that a little bit. George Pickens is open there. If Kenny Pickett throws him the ball instead and hits him on time, he has leverage over the cornerback. He has space before the safety can get to him. This is a third down. This is at the very least going for a first down, if not for a whole lot more. See, right there, right away, Kenny Pickett is looking at Deontay Johnson as soon as the ball is snapped, never never takes his eyes off of him. You would assume that he would have seen the cornerback opened up towards him and would have known that this was his own coverage and he would have a open receiver running down the seam. But you guys let me know in the comment section, do you think that this was on Kenny Pickett? Do you think this was on Deontay Johnson? Perhaps it was on Matt Canada. One of the things that the Pittsburgh Steelers have done consistently is try to run these rub routes, these crossers at the line of scrimmage in hopes to get man coverage defenders off of the receiver. It's been out there a lot. It's been on tape. I think that the Browns picked up on it, picked up on the tendency, showed Kenny Pickett what he wanted to see and changed it at the last moment. And it almost worked out. If you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys tomorrow. I'll be breaking down more film on the Pittsburgh Steelers.